the one who is in the world. So if you check the first part, it says, you are of God, you my little children. So in other words, the God is trying to tell us to be is trying to tell us to be dependent on, on him. He said, you are my little children. The thing is, uh, as us Christians, we love to act like as, uh, as uh, elder people in the things of God. We have to give God a conducive environment to expose his power to work in your, for, uh, in your favor. Amen. And the other thing, uh, another verse is uh, Matthew 6, verse 33. It says, but first of all, seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So the thing is, he told us we are his children. So the thing is, like, we want to act like children, but before seeking his kingdom, God, uh, God operates like uh, perfectly when you are in his kingdom. So our first focus has to be seeking his kingdom. Not that not just his kingdom, but his righteousness as well. Amen. 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 Let's seek and the kingdom of God. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violent one shall take it by force. The thing is, you have been praying for the kingdom of God, but you are too nice. You are too nice. You have to be violent. You are not violent enough for the kingdom of God. You need to be violent. Violent. Because the violent one will take it by force. Amen. Amen. Are we still following? Are we still flowing? Are we still flowing? The child of God, the child of God belongs to the kingdom of God. The thing I was saying, this is what the apostle of God says, we've got two types of people. There are people who are in the church and not in the kingdom of God. And there are people who are in the church and in the kingdom of God. So we've got two kingdoms. We've got the kingdom of God, we've got the kingdom of the devil. So we this in the church, you're not the kingdom of God. We mean you're in the kingdom of the darkness, yet in the church. The Christian, the Christian operates well when he is in the kingdom of God. That's where you belong. Right. And if you see me here, I walking outside, you can attack me. Yes, you can do whatever. Yeah. Come to my home. Where I belong. Yeah. I know every weapon, I know everything. There. Am I stay? If you want to attack me, the shadow is there. I am very dangerous. I'm very dangerous. So if you are in the kingdom, you become a very dangerous person. So that's where you belong. Remember, that's how you must come to the Thank you. 
thank you. Today I will not talk to you. So, Kunuma Nabanga Niba, I can encourage you with prayer how to pray for our Father. I don't know if you are praying for our Father, I don't know. But if you are not today, you need to start to pray for your father Amen. and your mother because you can't separate them, both of them. And if you pray for these people, I'm telling you, your life will not be the same. My ma our mother, Mama Buddha, says, if we pray for Baba, it's like you are washing dishes. You wash dishes with soap. But after you wash dishes, your hands doesn't need you. You can go and wash it again. You can. This is what, when you are praying for our Father, the dirty things, the demons, the what, what, that case, it's moving. When you are praying our Father, the doors are opening. That job you are always crying. That pro promotion you always. When you are praying for your father, blessings are coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Youth, are you there? Amen. Youth, are you there? Amen. Youth, are you there? Amen. So are you promising me today? Are you going to pray? You don't pray for your problems. That's a secret of prayer. Leave you. If you want to see something happening in your life, don't pray for your problems. Leave these things. Pray for another thing. Pray for your father. Pray for your fellowship. Pray for your sister. The one who's seated next to you, you will see things happening. You just leave all your problems. You know, Unkulunkul ati dukwazi usesmele twin. Eh? So which means if unazi disesmele twin, uyaz lam nand yakona. Eh? Aye. Ma engazi. If he knows me here, which means he knows where I'm going. So there's no need I can pray for it. Only I can say thank you, Lord. I'm talking to my youth, my friends, my brother. Hallelujah! And I think I'm done. I'm not preaching. I was encouraging my, my sisters, my friends. Yeah? So, good brother, start. You were talking about obedient. I think we heard that let's obey, let's respect our elders. Yeah? If they say today you are MC, don't you? Yeah? If they say today you are secretary, don't say no. He has a look challenge, especially you. There's a man. Being funny, I'm so. But I was everywhere. You don't know where your gift is, so you need to check. Where, man, I believe even in a man, if we are going to man, we have to find this. I'm everywhere. If they say hosting, I'm there. If they say present worship, I'm there. If they say I see something in short, I'm there. I don't wait for someone to come say, Mama, okay, can you help with that? No. If I can see people, they want to dance, I just check. I'm going to stand and make people to dance. You don't know where your gift is. You need to search your gift. Maybe your gift is in prison worship. Maybe your gift is there on secretary. Maybe your gift is there on hosting. Maybe your gift is there on ushering. You don't know where. 
So, let's respect our elders. I love you, ne? Yeah? I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mama, for that encouragement. We want to thank God so much. I think they've heard you that you can speak. <laughs> I think one day or another, they are going to give you almost the whole session so that they can hear you. We want to thank God so much. Ladies and gentlemen, in this time and moment, I would like us to stand.